We're talking with Nick Ennan from Industry and Investment New South Wales today about the small hive beetle in the bee industry. Well, what is this pest small hive beetle, Nick? Um, small hive beetle is a small beetle, obviously, which came into Australia about nine years ago now, back in 2002. We um, identified the small hive beetle in Australia, and it's a beetle which um, likes living in beehives. So it resides predominantly in beehives. How widespread is it across the country? Um, since its arrival, it was rapidly spread across the country because as the nature of beekeeping, people pick up beehives and cart them around and in doing so they are spreading the small hive beetle. So the small hive beetle now is currently spread pretty much throughout New South Wales, particularly the warmer coastal regions where it's more humid and up into Queensland. It's also in Victoria but has been causing less of a problem in Victoria so far. What sort of damage does it do? Small hive beetle does. Um, the beetle itself doesn't do too much damage. It's the uh, earlier stages, the larvae of the beetle, which really causes a problem. It can cause hives to um, become chewed out and slimed, what we call slimed. The beetle carries a yeast which infects the, uh, the, uh, the hive and as that larvae chews through it infects the hive with this yeast which then causes the honey to ferment and ferment in, in the hive and we call that sliming. That sliming, I'll show, it, show some slimed hives here. Open. This is a hive that has had small hive beetle infested and you can see the, the wet sort of appearance of it. It's also got an odour that smells, I suppose, a bit like um, rotting citrus that's been referred to and that's the, the fermenting of the, of the honey and nectar caused by the yeast which is carried by the larvae of the beetle. You can see it's, it's really become a sort of wet, soggy mess and that drives the bees out of the colony. It, that um, the bees don't like that situation which arises and, and can cause them to abscond from the colony. Are some hives more susceptible than, than other hives with the hive beetle? Look, it depends on a lot of factors and we're not 100% sure on what makes a hive more susceptible, but yes, some hives appear to be more susceptible, be, be it some bees are more defensive and more aggressive towards a small hive beetle. Um, also, hives with low numbers of bees um, become quite susceptible. It's uh, a fact that the, the bees, when, when in the hive, and it's a strong hive and there's beetle in there, the bees attack and harass the beetle continually while they're in there. So they prevent the beetle having opportunities to lay eggs and for those egg, eggs to hatch into larvae. Also, if you've got lots of bees, if they do lay eggs, they're capable of pulling them out and ripping them out before they cause any damage. So when Bee, beehives with low bee numbers result, be it because of queenlessness or disease, the hives are worn down, not many bees in there, those hives are much more susceptible to um, small hive beetle attack and damage at that stage. What time of year is the worst for small hive beetle? Small hive beetle, the population of small hive beetle fluctuates a lot during the year. Um, numbers tend to increase from summer right through to autumn and it's the hot humid conditions which the beetles love and breed very rapidly in. So those times of year are the predominantly the, the, the hives are more prone to small hive beetle damage. So it's from summer right through to early autumn and even into late autumn. And the beetle numbers really multiply around that time as, as the damaged hives, uh, the grubs crawl out of those damaged hives, pupate and then come out. And so you get a large spike in population just at that autumn period. You've mentioned the sliming earlier, but do the beetles cause any other damage? Can they kill the hive out totally? The beetles, um, the sliming can result in the bees absconding and killing the hive out. You know, so you lose your bees from your colony. They, they move away from the colony. So if you do have damage in your hive, you've got the sliming, can you revive that colony? Um, if you've lost your bees out of the colony, uh, you can revive the material which is in the hive. Uh, you have to assess on whether it's worth revising, reviving that material. Like if you've got frames such as this one, fairly old, fairly damaged, I wouldn't bother reviving that. But if it's material that is worth reviving, yes you can. Um, the best way to go about it is to firstly kill the larvae and the grubs that are in the colony. 
So you can do that in a, new, a few different ways. Um, cold temperatures is the best way to do it. So if you put the, the hive in a cool room, that will kill the um, small hybrid or larvae. It won't kill the adults, but it will kill the larvae. Um, or in a freezer, that will kill the adults and the larvae. So uh, you can effectively kill them that way. How do you prevent the small hive beetle from getting into your hives in the first place though? Um, difficult to prevent the small hive beetle from entering your hives. Uh, but there is techniques and strategies to uh, capture and control the small hive beetle numbers in the hive once they're in there. Um, the small hive beetle are, dr are strongly drawn to the beehives and so in regards to preventing them entering, uh, there's no real strategies or approaches developed as such yet. What about eradication? Eradication, again, very difficult to eradicate. It's really about managing small hive beetle and there's different techniques um, and approaches that can be taken and, and used with the hives to try and reduce the number. Um, if the small hive beetle numbers aren't large in the hive, the beetles themselves don't cause any damage or problem to the hive and the hive can manage and control those beetles within that hive. It's when the opportunity to lay those eggs and those eggs hatch, that's when damage can occur. So most of the time the hive is quite capable of withstanding small hive beetle population within that colony. I've seen hives with in excess of 2,000 small hive beetle in those hives and those hives still functioning quite normally. How important is it therefore to have a really strong healthy hive? It is very important in regards to managing small hive beetle. Small hive beetle are particularly uh, a major problem when hives are down, low, low bee numbers, diseased, all that type of thing increases the likelihood that they'll succumb to small hybrid.